uh, His Excellency, uh, His Ambassador, uh, Dr. Badr, uh, uh, the Ambassador of the Arab Republic of Egypt, and uh, distinguished participants. Uh, it gives me a great pleasure to be here uh, in this wonderful event and it was held in the beautiful city of Berlin. Uh, I would really like to uh, thank the organizers of this event, the ICD, uh, or the Inter Institute for Cultural Diplomacy, and the ICD's ultimate goal is to promote goal peace, uh, global peace and stability by strengthening and supporting intercultural relations uh, at all levels. And I, I, I think we, we all agree with this. And uh, here I would like to add <coughs> uh, some points about the experience that we have in Ethiopia. Uh, cultural diplomacy is becoming, uh, I mean, overtaking the, the traditional way of making diplomacy between, uh, uh, between states. Uh, in my ministry, we have uh, reorganized our, our structure and we have got a public diplomacy department. And that public diplomacy is mainly working on cultural exchange uh, and, and, and sport diplomacy and, and like, like this soft power uh, activities um, rather than the, the traditional way of making the diplomacy. Uh, uh, actually, <coughs> uh, we, have, we have a publicly organized uh, kind of public diplomacy team uh, that we mainly focus on, 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 on engaging our, our, our brothers in Africa, uh, our men, public diplomacy team is working uh, in, in smoothening our relationship with our neighboring countries. Uh, the, the, the team consists of uh, uh, citizens from all walks of life. I mean, uh, we have uh, the musicians, I mean, the, the artists, the singers, we have the sport people, we have uh, the uh, merchants, we have all, from all walks of life, we have, we have people represented in that, in that public diplomacy team. Uh, that team mainly uh, organized by, by volunteer Ethiopians, actually, and then this has not, not, nothing to do with a, with a government activity. These are uh, 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 volunteerly organized people, and, and they went to uh, our neighboring countries. Initially, they went to uh, uh, Egypt. I mean, His Excellency might, might have read that, that point. Uh, they, they did amazing job there. I mean, uh, they, they, they created mutual understanding between our two people. I mean. Uh, it's not about politics, it's, it's not about other, other, other issues that they're talking, just to create a confidence and tr trust between, between the uh, people-to-people -people relationship of the two countries. They also went to the Sudan or neighboring country. <clears throat> they created a very wonderful relationship again there. They, they, they stayed for a quite uh, some five days or something like that, and uh, they exchanged ideas, discussed, and they, they visited different sites of uh, touristic attractions in Sudan, and that is that was amazing. I mean, they 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 created a big understanding between the people. Uh, I mean, on the people of uh, uh, the, Rep the Republic of Sudan. I mean, they, they they created a trust that they are their brotherly, they are uh, neighboring, uh, border sharing countries, and then that that is that was amazing experience that I have, I have seen. And also, uh, under, under the, the public diplomacy, Director General, we, uh, I mean, some of you may, may not imagine that Ethiopia is giving a scholarship for, for uh, foreign students. I mean, uh, we give scholarship for uh, our neighboring countries, we give scholarship for uh, Somalian students, we give scholarship for uh, South Sudan students, we give scholarship for uh, Som I mean, Somaliland and Puntland is separate, we, 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 we entertain them, we even give scholarship to, to some Eritrean refugees that are living in, 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 our, in our territory. Uh, by the way, we, we are uh, hosting more than, more than, more than uh, I mean, close to a million uh, refugees in, in our territory. We, we are uh, providing them uh, with this uh, opportunity to, to go to universities and just upgrade their career. <coughs> uh, having said this, uh, I again would like to thank uh, the ICD for, for arranging such such platform, which is very crucial in 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 in, in uh, facilitating to to uh, to make a cultural exchange between uh, students and and uh, the people in, uh, who are taking part in this event. Uh, this forum, I believe, will be an important platform to boost uh, the steadily growing role of cultural diplomacy in the internal relation. Uh, this forum is uh, this forum is particularly important occasion, and I am confident that. It will serve its purpose by allowing intercultural interaction 
for a mutual understanding of our cultures and the values. Uh, the relation between Ethiopia uh, uh, and Germany is also uh, has got that, that, that blend of people-to-people -people relationship. I mean, beyond the political relationship that we have, we, we still have uh, uh, the people-to-people -people relationship that is uh, smoothening and uh, deepening from time to time as well. Uh, in this regard, <coughs> I really would like to appreciate the role of uh, Goti Institute in Addis Ababa, uh, that is uh, uh, doing amazing job there in, 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 in creating the, I mean, of the same platform to, to, to exchange cultures and values with our Ethiopian uh, uh, nationals. <coughs> Uh, dear participants, and I, I would like to take this opportunity to say a few words about my country, Ethiopia. Yeah, uh, I trust that some of you uh, uh, are aware that Ethiopia was once home to a glorious and, and uh, the well-known civilizations of the ancient time uh, that has survived by at least two enduring and independent, interdependent state and religious institutions. The record of the ancient past attests to Ethiopia's long and fascinating history of interaction with the great Mediterranean, Indian, and possibly the Chinese civilization. However, in the last few hundred years, in general, in the last half of the 20th century in particular, Ethiopia entered into a prolonged period of stagnation, followed by a steep decline that continued right up to the dawn of the modern era. The failure of our successive regimes to accommodate diversity and their inability to meet the, the aspiration of the people of Ethiopia significantly contributed to its downward spiral. The cumulative <clears throat> effects of centuries of social and economic stagnation sadly worsened to the point of the failure during the long, the long 17, 17 year of military rule at the, that ravaged the country from uh, the year 1974 to 1991. The command economic system pursued the military junta combined with its uh, repressive policy against nationalist demand for uh, nationalist demand for the political autonomy left the country in shovels. Hence, after all, uh, after the fall of the military state in, in the 1991, the successor of coalition government uh, of the EPRDF <coughs> uh, saw peace and reconciliation uh, as it is uh, primary uh, activity. Uh, of business, and it, it resulted uh, the current Ethiopia that we, we all know. Uh, dear participants, <clears throat> Ethiopia is a land of uh, plenty with a long and a noble history, giving rise to ethnic, linguistic, and cultural diversity. Uh, it is the only African country uh, never have been colonized. It has more, more than 18 unique, rich ethnic, cultural, and linguistic groups. So you can see how diverse the, the, the population of Ethiopia is. Uh, Ethiopia is renowned for its distinct, distinctive uh, Christian tradition and association with the Ark of Covenant. It offers the most dramatic scenery of an unsurpassed grandeur, that is the Semen Mountain National Park, unique, unique rock Heaven Church, the spectacular Blue Nile Falls, the Great Rift Valley, the Dunkel Depression, the Imperial Castle, the monuments, the uh, I mean, the Sofumar Cave, which is the, mong the longest underground world in Africa, maybe, uh, uh, which is uh, as, as, as long as 14 kilometers underground. Uh, so these are the, the unique uh, uh, elements that you, 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 you'll uh, see in Ethiopia. And also, I would like to tell you that if you go to Ethiopia, uh, you will be, literally, you will be younger in eight years. That is the truth. Yeah. We have our own calendar. I mean, we, we, we don't use the Gregorian calendar. We have our own calendar, which is eight years back from the Gregorian calendar. So that means literally you will be younger by eight years when you're going to Ethiopia. So don't forget that you, you, you should be there anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Ethiopia is a land of origins. Uh, we usually uh, would like to call ourselves that we are the land of origins. We are the cradle of mankind where the human being first was discovered, I mean, started living uh, 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 life. Uh, we are the birthplace of Kofi Arabica. Yeah, the Kofi Arabica was, uh, maybe you will, you will test it right, right away here, uh, with it is uh, amazing ceremony that with the incense, and I, I'm sure that Mark has turned off all the sensors. Yeah, uh, 
So we, we're the, uh, the birthplace of Kofi uh, Arabica, and also we are the origin of uh, the Blue Nile. I mean, the biggest, I mean, the longest uh, river where that feeds into the Grand Nile River. So uh, <clears throat> these are the things that I can tell you. We have also uh, our own alphabets. We have Amharic language. That language, uh, we, we, we have its own alphabets, uh, like, I mean, uh, you might consider it online or uh, you can Google it somewhere, that we have uh, alphabets of Amharic language, like Hahu and Lalu, something like that, and you will enjoy learning it. I mean, it will give you a good, a good, a good experience of uh, uh, learning the, the Amharic language itself. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, with this uh, remark, uh, I mean, I, 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 will, I really would like to, uh, to, to give you, to give you uh, a general uh, activities that uh, we have been doing in, in Ethiopia in terms of, in in terms of uh, uh, growing our economy. Actually, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Mr. Tsvai, will be here and he will give us uh, detail about that. Uh, so we, our, our economy is now doing well uh, in terms of, in ter in terms of uh, 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 economic growth. We have, over the, over the last 20-something uh, years, we have uh, registered a double-digit growth. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, over the last uh, seven years, we have registered a double digit growth. Sorry for my English, anyway. And uh, 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 now we are we are uh, in, a, in, a, in a good position that we can attract uh, better investment from all over the world. Uh, we are becoming the best destination, maybe. Uh, I, I can assure you that doing business in Ethiopia is uh, is, is is becoming very easier from time to time. Uh, uh, we, we are become, we are hosting uh, certain big uh, multinational companies doing business in Ethiopia, like uh, the GE, like the uh, Rhino, uh, <coughs> Black Rhino, <coughs> and from the garmenting business, we have big companies like H&M uh, uh, doing business in Ethiopia. So, uh, Mr. Tsvai will give us, in fact, uh, details. I, I should not go deep into that. Uh, between. My, 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 my few remarks and just the slide presentation, let, let, let us see uh, some very short movie about that, that will give you a general picture about the tourism in Ethiopia, maybe. <laughs> 